Hello, so I've just got back from a Newark show, um, pretty much the same as last year, a um, couple of people there, um, not too much stock, good amount um, as I picked up some gems, um, one was actually um, a reserve um, and I picked it up, but yeah, so I'll start with what I picked up first, um, Lassiodore Tabune. Um, I like my and um, this is quite a rare one, by the way all this stuff's captive bred, I only keep captive bred stuff, um, I mean tarantulas, um, so yeah, this is Ditabune, um, that's going to get housed into that, um, it's probably about the same size as Malassiodora but a lot more bulky, it's not getting housed like Malassiodora because Malassiodora I actually thought it was female, I'm thinking it might be male now so I'm just leaving it be in the tank it's in, this is perfect size for it, um, that'll house it perfectly fine. Um, so that's that one. Um, I'm going to keep the rarest to the last. This is quite a rare one. Um, you can't see it at the moment, but I'll show you it when I rehouse it. This is a Formictopus concertis violet. Um, I've seen pictures of the adults. Um, they are a bright violet colour. It's literally a P. concertis, but instead of brown, it's bright violet. A very, very nice species. Looks awesome. Um, can't wait for that to get a bit bigger. And, um, well, this one. Um, I actually searched on YouTube, I can only find five videos and they were all of babies. This is a Juve um, and it's something very rare. Um, doesn't look like much, but I will rehouse it and I will tell you then, so I'm keeping it a bit of a surprise. So yeah, um, I will rehouse this one first um, and I will show you it because it is one of the rarest tarantulas um, in the hobby at the moment. Um, to my knowledge, it's one. It's a really rare one, and it's really expensive. So yeah, back in sec. So this doesn't really look like much, um, but this cost me ninety-five pounds, um, and that's cheap. The try and persuade it out. Not defensive at all, it's really timid. I've been told they're quite fast. They're um, closely related to um, Rassiodora and the Nandus. Mm. Come on. Hasn't really got the colouring yet. Uh, Still not giving away any clues. And uh, when it gets the colour in, it is one of the most beautiful tarantulas you will ever see. Come on. Come on. Not too fast as it's a. Uh, um, I'm just going to put my phone down a sec and I'll show you when it's housed. It's not too fast, but I don't want to lose it. Okay, back in a sec. It really wasn't hard to house. Um, it's just got a simple cave. Um, literally all it did was it's just a little spooked. Um, um, perfectly fine now, nothing wrong with it. And this is a Juvi female. Um, Polisimo Pelma. Um, Sazme. I don't know how you say it. I'll put the in the description. It's Placimo Pelma Sazme or some bright blue tarantulas. And they're very rare. And as you can see, it's quite skittish. Um, very very rare though. One of the rarest tarantulas in the hobby at the moment, and a lot of people are wanting these. And I've got a juvenile female. They get about the size. Um, they kept dry. They get about the size of a brachypelma, so about five, six inch, five and a half, six inches. Um, and they get bright blue, as I've mentioned. You can see the blue tinges in the right light on the legs. At the moment, nothing too impressive. But yeah, so I'm going to leave that one be because it's had quite a stressful day. And I'll move on to the next one. Back in a sec. I'm going to quickly try and feed it. I don't know if these are good feeders, um, as there's not much known about them, but we shall see. It's a bit big for it, but 
it can take it if it wants it either way um, it's because I ain't got any small or mediums and the smalls are way too small for this I've done it with this side because if it spooks it will just run straight into the hide just trying to not colour up the camera light too much It's very laid back once. Uh, I'm gonna leave it in because um, if it's hungry, it's hungry. I've crushed the head, so it's gonna be no harm to it. If it doesn't eat, I'll just take it out. But I'll give you a bit of an update in a bit because I think it'll actually eat it in a second. Okay, I'll leave it be. So yeah, Placimo Placi uh, Pelmus has my urn. It's trying to escape. Urn, uh, it's escaped. <sighs> Okay, I'm going to put it back in and I'll be back in a sec. Back in a sec. So this is the Hermictopus um, Concertis um, Violet. That's just what it's called. Um, Hermictopus Concertis Violet. And that's all it's called. Um, I'm going to rehouse this off camera but show you it in its new tub. Um, the only reason I'm rehousing it is because I don't like the substrate that this, um, this tarantula dealer uses. Um, I don't like vermiculite. Um, I just like to give them a fresh home. So yeah, um, this is a Femictus Conservatives Violet. Um, you can already see the violetish colours. Um, yeah, that's a bit better. Yeah, you can already see the colours. I've um, never raised a Femictus from a sling. I've raised them from, I've got a couple of juvies, or two juvies. I suppose one started off as like a sling, a grown on sling, so don't think I'll have any problems, but I'll just rehouse it quick. Hopefully it shouldn't be too much of a problem. Okay, back in a sec. A little skittish, but nothing too bad. Um, so yeah, that's just that rehoused. Um, pretty easy to care for for Mictopus, so I don't think I shall have any problems with this baby. So yeah, um, I'm going to leave it be and move on to the next one. I'm back in a sec. I'm going to feed this one as well. Um, Phoenixpus are usually really good eaters, so I can't see why the slings wouldn't be the same. Let's see if it's hungry. Nope. I'm going to leave it in with it and monitor it. Um, as I've said when um, before in videos, when you buy um, teas from the show. It's very rare they'll eat straight after because obviously traveling and um, they've traveled to the show They've traveled back with you from the show so most of the time they'll just eat in their own time And I'm just gonna leave it in because it probably will eat on its own accord So yeah, um, I'll move on to the last one. Back in a sec So last, it's the last Eudora Tabune. I'm going to tap it into a tub um, just to see if I can sex it eventually Just um, to have a look and then I'll rehouse it. Um, it should be too. It should be calm. So um, I'm just gonna quickly pop it into a tub. Then you'll see me rehouse it into its new home. So yeah, back in a sec. Very very pissy. Um, to me that looks. I want to say female. Just because I can see the line. Yeah, it looks to me to be female. I could be wrong now because I'm a bit stupid. <laughs> okay, back in a sec. Just a bit more footage. Just if anyone's got ventral sex in, let me know. Back in a sec. So I'm just going to try and get him out. Her well, her. I think it's a her. Mystic Spidge thinks it's a him. Um, very, very pissy though. Very, very pissy. Come on. A very nice tarantula though. So I'm going to feed it on camera. Um, Or ten to. I'm pretty sure this one will eat. Probably 
wonder. <clears throat> so we'll drop this in, see if it's hungry. Nope, it just wants to come out and I don't want it to come out because it's quite vicious. Come on, get back in. No. I'm going to get it back in and I'll back in second. So yeah, that's just them housed up. Um, none of H yet. Um, a piece size mice, so timid. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much all I is it? Right there. <laughs> okay, so yeah, um, if anyone knows that um, the sex of that Itabune age, let us know. Yeah, that's pretty much it. So the bit people, mm, I don't know. yeah. So overall, good show. Worth going to, but not a um, ton there. Okay, so the bit people, mm, I don't know. little bit of an extra. Just caught the Itabu um, Itabune, um, just caught the locust. Um, other two still haven't, hasn't been eaten. If you get an extra clip after this, it means they've ate. If not, they haven't. Um, so, yeah. Really happy with these three. And, yeah, send them back, people. Bye. For Mictopus, um, can say it is Violet 8. Um, still nothing on the um, piece, as my. Sazzy May or whatever. Okay. So move it. Bye. Last but not least. Can't see it at all, but the pea says my eight. And it's sapphire as well. So yeah. Everyone ate. Anyway, bye.